Hey guys, Robbie Z here from 8-Bit MMO. Uh, this is our second ever vlog. It's been a while since our first one. Uh, I think back then I said something like that I was going to do one every single week. Uh, it's been about two years since I said that, and this is our second vlog. So, cashing up. Uh, but this week we've actually got something really exciting to share with you. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Matthew over at uh, Evolution Controllers. Hi, I'm Matthew Heffron from Evolution Controllers. Um, this is the drone. It's an open source Bluetooth game controller for smartphone, tablets, and PCs. And we actually wrote a custom game configuration for 8-bit MMO. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. All right. So we're playing through here. Uh, I've got uh, one of the, the drone controllers uh, uh, hooked up to the laptop over here. Uh, and we're just going to play through for a bit. So I've got um, X is mapped to uh, spacebar, I think, or Correct. E? Correct, yeah, mm -hmm. spacebar. Cool. So I can go through here, and I'm just advancing through the dialogues with the controller. Uh, it's pretty cool. I can move uh, uh, my character around with the D-pad and go up here, go take on the uh, quest over here. I don't know who this Robbie Z guy is. I don't know if I trust this guy. Here we go. And so I think one of the things that's pretty cool about this is uh, I didn't do any code work to support this. Uh, this is all, you, you basically did a, a controller mapping, I think you said? Correct, yeah. So we wrote a keyboard mouse configuration and we customized it to your, your game's controls. Nice. Taking on some quests. So we're going to go, let's, let's check out Size Dungeon because this has got a pretty good dungeon over here. Let's slice some lure cats over here. Lure cats always beating me up. Get some lobby slugs. Yeah. Okay. So last week I made the hipsters super deadly. Uh, and I immediately regret that fact. <laughs> I wonder if I'll even be able to take this guy on. I got updates coming. Um, there'll either be a whole bunch of new stuff. Got some new monsters coming in. Um, got uh, the, the red and the blue swords are going to come online. You might have seen, I know some of the, the uh, regulars have, have seen the red and blue swords. Uh, the moderators have access to them right now. <sighs> Who made these hipsters so hard? <laughs> <laughs> that patch was actually not supposed to go out uh, this week or last week. Uh, I was holding that back for the rest of the updates, but it snuck out because hipsters like to release things before it's cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Reward block! I am awesome. I am one of an exclusive club of 387 people who have gotten this reward block. <laughs> cool. All right. So, let's head back over to Root, and we'll, uh, we'll try building something just so you can see how the controls are in building. All right. So let's go and hit a will to pad. We're out here. Oh, someone's already built nearby. Yeah, let's get some of these over here. And I think in the new engine, uh, once that comes online, which is still a ways out, uh, but once the, uh, the new engine comes online, I think uh, controllers for building is going to be a lot more fluent. Um, It'll be, uh, because basically, so for instance, on the shop over here, instead of kind of moving uh, and trying to basically navigate as a mouse, it'll kind of snap between each uh, appropriate location, uh, like you'd expect on a console game or, or what have you. Do drop mode, and start placing some stuff. All right, here we go. Here's our wall. Kind of come around the sides here. This is my uh, eight-bit equivalent of uh, painting with uh, Bob Ross. It's like we're gonna we're gonna make this. Remember, there's no mistakes in building an eight-bit house. Only happy accidents. There we go. All right. So I'll try coming in here, and let's get some roof tiles in here. Here we go. Roof tile. Roof tile. Roof tile. I'll just do this type of roof. Click on that. Sweet. All right. Now get our Z-axis lock appropriate. 
which if uh, you're not familiar, Z-axis lock basically lets you kind of force a specific Z-height in the game, which is nice for building things like roofs. So we'll come in here. Great. And I, I love how you know people are using profanity in the chat room as we're recording this video. And I belatedly realized I forgot to build a carpet for this house, so it's going to have a dirt floor. Uh, but that's okay. It's an indie-style house. <laughs> I think this house is actually technically larger than my studio apartment. Cool, so that's a little house. Let's get a bed. Oh, I have to be level 2 to get a bed. Who implemented this leveling system? That's okay, we'll get a homestone and a chicken. You can see what's inside the house. Cool. Sweet. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to play this, especially in combat mode. I thought uh, combat was uh, really fluid and just, like really a, kind of a, an authentic experience. You know, it's there's just something to uh, playing a, a game on a, a controller. You know, yeah. uh, WSD keyboard and mouse that's great and all. You know, I love that, but it's pretty cool to be able to you know have that experience on console and it just feels like really, especially with like kind of the retro aesthetic. You know, it feels very authentic. Yeah. Um, you know, building, you know, it's, building was, you know, not as, as uh, a great of an experience, but that's, that's just because, you know, it's, it's really on me because I have not implemented, you know, any official controller support in the game, and if I had, then, you know, that experience would be way better. Uh, yeah. But, you know, just being able to kind of plug this into any game and, you know, have that kind of controller experience is really cool. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I just want to uh, thank you again for, you know, making this uh, config for us. Yeah, and, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so the controller is open source, so if you feel like writing your own custom game configuration for 8-bit MMO, feel free. Awesome. Well, until next time. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>